Hey guys, welcome to Marcus Loves Movies. My name is Marcus Lee and I am really chuffed that you decided to get over here and listen to my Mortal Kombat movie review. The movie that is based on the computer game that I have played since I was a child. Just before I get into the movie review, can I say a quick thank you for stopping by. If you do like movie reviews, if you like movie chat, if you like trailer reactions, can I encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel because this is the place where I do all of that good stuff. So I'm really pleased that you are here. So without further ado, let me tell you about this movie. Hunted by the fearsome warrior Sub-Zero, MMA fighter Cole Young finds sanctuary at the Temple of Lord Raiden. Training with experienced fighters Liu Kang, Kung Lao and the rogue mercenary Kano, Cole prepares to stand with Earth's greatest champions to take on the enemies from Outworld in a high stakes battle for the universe. It's directed by Simon McQuoid and it stars Louis Tan, Jessica McNamee, Joe Taslim and Hiroyuki Sanada. So what I'm looking for in a Mortal Kombat movie is our favourite characters going head to head, fighting each other, doing those special moves and just having lots of fun watching it. As you can tell from that plot that I just read out, the filmmakers have made a decent attempt to give this a plot thread so that there is a reason why all of these characters are coming together to fight each other. I thought the first 15 minutes of this movie were really good. We get an introduction to some characters who are gonna be really important as the story moves forward. We meet a character who we quickly realize is Sub-Zero. The opening scenes with the action are bloody, gory but looks like it's going to be something that is really really good we then meet Cole Young the MMA fighter and we see some actual fight scenes again you feel everything it looks painful but we look like we've got the start of something that is going to be really promising we get to meet more characters we meet Sonya Blade we meet Jax we meet Kano we even meet Reptile but it's at this early stage you start thinking I'm watching a B-movie here because it feels very B-movie-esque. But then again, I suppose it's hard not to be cheesy in a movie where people can shoot fireballs and teleport and have laser beams shoot out of your eye. But then again, what do you expect from a Mortal Kombat movie? I think the filmmakers have done a good job of trying to include as many characters as possible. Some characters have bit part roles because how do you cram in this many characters into a two hour window? That's a hard thing to do and unfortunately mini spoiler alert there are some characters that we don't get to see in this film but I will come back to that point there were some cheesy elements to this that made me smile in films like this when you've got great action going on on screen sometimes the filmmakers can slow things down and speed them up again so that you get a sense of how amazing what you're seeing on screen is it's almost like let's slow it down because it needs to be seen to be believed now we see that in Transformers movies, we've seen that in movies like Fast and the Furious, so we're used to seeing that. So something's quicker than it slows down and then we start again. In this film, as well as slowing the action down, they also slow down the person speaking. So if a character is reacting to something and saying no, we get a no. And that happens on more than one occasion. I know you've got to match the audio to the speed of the picture, but it just made me want to laugh. It's hard to pack so many Mortal Kombat characters into a film, but I really like the fact that the filmmakers really try to respect each character by showing off their special moves. In some cases, some of the characters' fatalities. This movie feels like it's made by someone who really loves Mortal Kombat and really wanted to give the fans something special. So whilst the film does have cheesy elements to it, what I will say about the special effects and the CGI is that it looks fantastic when you get a movie that feels like a B movie that feels like it belongs on the sci-fi channel you expect the effects to be quite bad you expect to see green lines around people because the budget for special effects and CGI and post-production wasn't quite there but this movie looks absolutely fantastic. There are lots of things that look brilliant visually in this film. I mean, me for one, I thought Sub-Zero and his ice and the things that he was able to do looked absolutely fantastic. And speaking of Sub-Zero, Sub-Zero in this film was a fantastic bad guy, a great antagonist. 
it's amazing that whilst playing Mortal Kombat, I've never really thought of Sub-Zero as a baddie. And I mean, I suppose all of these guys are quite dark and sinister, but Sub-Zero, to pick on him as being the main big bad guy, I thought was a great way to get the film started. Obviously, there are other evil forces in the mix, but Sub-Zero was really sinister. And you thought, oh, Sub-Zero, I don't know if I want to play with your character again. You are very, very mean. You are, you are not a nice guy. Where was Jackie Briggs from accounting in this film? I say that because I think Jackie Briggs as a character has one of the most office administrator names out there. So there are characters that we don't get to see. And I believe the reason for that is because this film ends in a way which says, hey, there's gonna be a sequel. There needs to be a sequel. There's an option for a sequel. And if the film does well, Let's fund a sequel. And I do hope there is a sequel because whilst this movie wasn't brilliant, while it's not the best thing I've seen this year, whilst it had B movie elements to it and I thought it could have A movie elements to it, it was still fun. It was still enjoyable. It was nice to see lots of characters knocking seven bells out of each other. It was nice to see characters on screen having time to shine, doing their thing, doing special moves, doing fatalities. Melina with her fork blade thing here uh, and, and doing the tongue thing. It was nice to have all of those little flourishes in the film. And yet, like I say, just something to enjoy for a couple of hours. And if there's a sequel, will I be back? Yes, I will. And I want to see more characters on screen. So decent movie, not as great as I thought it was going to be. The trailer had a lot of promise and there is a lot of action. I just would have liked less B movie cheese, less cheese. So if you really force my hand and you tell me to get over here and give this movie a star rating, I'm going to give Mortal Kombat three stars. So that's what I thought of Mortal Kombat. It does actually make me want to go play the computer game now, so that's probably a good sign. But I'd love to know what you thought of this movie. Did you genuinely enjoy the movie Mortal Kombat or are you in the camp where you thought it wasn't all that? Did you find this 110 minute movie quite cheesy? Or would you say to me, Marcus, don't be so serious. Take it easy. Let me know what you thought in the comment section. Please give this video a like. And like I said at the start of the video, if you like your movie reviews and movie chat and trailer reactions and all that good stuff, can I encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel and to also hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I release a brand new video. I would really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Let us know what you think and I will talk to you again very, very soon. So until there, take care of yourselves and thanks for watching.